There's John Lemby's Partick Thistle lineup, which knows it's in a win or bust situation for promotion. Thistle know a draw is no good to them, but confidence should be high as they've won the two previous league games against Falkirk this season. And few know Falkirk better than Jim Duffy, who played for them and managed them before moving on to help restore Thistle's fortunes. He's been an influential figure in defence and contributed three goals, all from the penalty spot. And no Fir Hill occasion is complete without the hugely popular figure of Chick Charlie, whose former clubs include Pollock Juniors, St Mirren, Ayr, Clydebank and Hamilton. He scored eight goals this season. Falkirk are without Derek McWilliams, who's suspended, but manager Jim Jeffries has built a solid and harmonious squad, which knows it's now within touching distance of the big time. And one player instrumental in their fine run has been 28-year-old Alex Taylor, a real bargain from Walsall this season at £40,000. He hasn't missed a game since arriving in October and is very much the playmaker of the side. And there's no doubt about the real character of the team, and that's Simon Stainrod. He was signed for £100,000 from French club Rouen, and Falkirk are, in fact, his eighth senior club. He scored 15 goals this season. The referee is Mr Brian McGinley from Balfron. And so Patrick Thistle get the sixth meeting of the clubs this season underway. This will have won three, drawn one and lost one. Very tight games in the cup competitions as well between the sides. But an early knock there for Simon Steenrod as he was challenged by Graham Robertson. So a free kick to Falkirk. Goes free kick made by Duffy. Elliot down the line for Buckley. Good mopping up there by Tommy McQueen. Good challenge by Jim Duffy, and of course, uh, former Falkirk player and manager. <laughs> Good ball by Whitaker, picked up by Sammy Johnson, forward now to Buckley. Well, Thistle showing their early intentions. Good cross coming into the middle. Appreciated by the big crowd. The header just over the bar. Sammy Johnson there, involved in the action. And again, getting the touch foul for Thistle. Charlie racing forward. John Hughes for Falkirk. Get some backing from Gary Smith. Cut out by Paul McLaughlin for Thistle. by Johnson into the path of Robertson. Patrick Thistle's throw. What a bad effort again by Sammy Johnson. Thistle certainly carrying the game forward at every opportunity. Teed up there by Buckley, and the first time shot. It's Gary Smith, well out of play. Buckley. 
play for Thistle. Winning the free kick. Referee indicating an elbow used by Gary Smith. So Thistle pushing everyone forward. Lachlan shot coming off Taylor. Determined play by Thistle. Godfrey to Falkett for rescue. Awkward cross coming in. The header dipping over. Gary Peebles getting the touch. Charlie on the left. The header over the bar. Queen trying to find McGivern. Gets a chance at it. Stay rod to Hughes. We kick against Charlie. to take the free kick for Falkirk. Stainrod getting a nice little touch. A complete miss kick by Stainrod, but still Falkirk have it. Eddie May flipping it forward, the header! The flag's up, though, against McGivern. The linesman's flag raised before he made contact with the ball. Well, it was driven right across goal. It was Eddie May after Stainrod's miss who delivered the cross. And McGivern rising high above the defenders, but no luck on this occasion. The flag up on the far side. Lashen battling hard for Fizzle. Elliot, cut out by Godfrey. Ball driven forward, oh, a great save by Gordon Marshall. Well, the ball taking a deflection as the shot came in. The goalkeeper changing direction, it did well. Given being watched by Ray, supported by McQueen. Not good one for Duffy. Well, Alec Taylor almost cashing in. Switching the play. Picked up now by David Elliott. Good play by Elliott, losing the fullback. The shot on. It's blocked by Brian Whitaker. The shot from Sammy Johnson. That was a good build up by Thistle. David Elliott involved on the left. Teeing it up for Sammy Johnson. So that certainly got the Thistle fans roaring. Play by Elliot. The shot on, oh, tremendous goal by Colin McGlashan. Well, what a tremendous shot. It was great play by Elliot, tenacious play by Elliot. The ball sent into the middle. 
come off Elliot's head again. Look at that shot, right into the corner of the net. So Colin McGlashan's 11th goal of the season with 20 minutes gone. And Patrick Thistle leading by one goal to nil. Taylor for Falker. Nice little dummy by Steinrod. Not the ball for the defence. No chances taken by Graham Robertson. He's under pressure from Eddie May. And he headed behind for the corner. Then Godfrey coming forward to the area. Played to the near post. The shot out from Taylor. And well taken by Andy Mudder. Well, he couldn't have had much of a view of that ball as it broke out to Alec Taylor. McGovern, in fact, knocked it back into his path. The first time shot coming through a ruck of players. Well taken by Andy Mudder. a bit unlucky Steinrod winning the throw in for Falcon touch on by Eddie May oh and the ball just inches past the post well Thistle living dangerously May who got his head to the ball and almost taking a ricochet off Steinrod into the net just inches away Phil Hughes Steinrod looking it forward that was good defending by Graham Robertson as he put the ball behind for the corner. Well, lovely play by Steinrod. Flipping the ball with his right foot. Robertson under a lot of pressure. Steinrod's corner, and there goes the half-time whistle. Well, a superb goal from Colin McGlashan after 20 minutes. There was some great play by Elliot leading up to it, and McLashen sending a powerful shot right into the corner of the net. The halftime score here at Firhill: Patrick Thistle one, Falkirk nil. <laughs> Get the second half underway. Check on both sides shows no substitutions. This will have Bobby Law and Paul McGovern on the bench. Paul Cook have Neil Duffy, son of a famous Patrick Thistle player, of course, and Crawford Bapti on the bench. Well, Falk pushing forward, early doors. Trying to get themselves back into this game. It all fell a bit flat after McClashen put Thistle ahead. Steve Rod just failing to keep the ball in play, so the goal kick to Thistle. Eddie May getting the ball through to McGivern. The ball right across the face of goal, but the flag had gone up against the Falkett striker. That was excellent play by Eddie May. McGivern, no, just offside. In fact, Butler getting a, a touch to the ball. Johnson to Charnley. 
Thompson again. Well, it was cut out by Eddie May back helping in defence. This will have the corner. That's a signal for Ray to move forward, Gordon Ray. Taking up position on the back post. John Lay. The chance on. It's blocked. Well, right across the face of goal by David Elliott. Well, Falkirk living dangerously as John Lay sent the ball over. There was Johnson with the first effort. And then Elliott right across the face of goal. Just uh, too much pace in it for. McLashen to get a put in. Well, McGibbon making a late challenge on the goalkeeper. Well, Falkett felt they should have had the corner kick. But McGibbon being called over by the referee. Falkett clears Hitherson claiming a corner. Not enough luck in that challenge, but enough to have the player called over by the referee. So McGivern shown the yellow card. Taylor supported by Smith. Stain Rod moving it to Hughes. Heatherston is possessed by Charlie. Four against three here. Forward for Elliot to chase, taking on Whitaker. Well handled by Gordon Marshall. Good break forward, though, by Patrick Thistle. Having the numerical advantage, Charlie did well. Pushed the ball forward to Elliott. Putting it coming across. And a good confident catch by the goalkeeper. Johnson, chased by Eddie May, nice change of pace by Johnson, and some dithering in defence, Elliot gets away from Smith, Charlie, and that one had got Marshall stretching, again it was good play by Elliot, Charlie taking it first time, Powerful run, switching it to McGivern. Taylor, Ellie Smith, cross with the right foot, the goalkeeper committing himself, good handling by Andy Mudder, and that earns the goalkeeper applause from the Thistle fans. Well, the early ball coming in from Gary Smith, plenty of players in attendance, good handling by the keeper. Falkirk, fouled by Charnley on Godfrey. So Falkirk about to make a substitution. And it's Duffy coming on for Smith. Well, penalty kick awarded. Well, that looked a very soft award as Stainrod went down. The referee, though, pointing straight to the spot. The free kick coming forward. McLaughlin missing out on it. Stainrod moving in. Challenged by Ray. The referee immediately pointing to the spot. Take the kick, playing his 30th consecutive game this afternoon. Comes forward, and he scored. Great penalty right into the corner. It's 
So Falkirk get themselves back into the game. Well struck penalty. Right in at the post, giving Mudder no chance. So 78 minutes gone. So Paul McGovern coming on now for John Buckley. Stick there, Steinrod coming through. Well, what a chance to put Falkirk into the lead. Dithering in the middle of the field by Thistle. A chance for Simon Steinrod to get his 16th goal of the season. But Freight sending the ball out of play for the throw in to Thistle. On perhaps for Elliot, headed away by Duffy. Charlie. Well, Thistle players claiming there was a hand used by a Falkirk defender, but the referee waving away the claims. Duffy clearing. It's Charlie threatening. Well, they're claiming. The ball come off the hand of the arm of a pocket defender, but Ryan McGinley, the referee, well up with the play. An old chance, perhaps, for Thistle. Godfrey sticking well to the task, chasing in after McGovern. Heatherston for Falcon. McGovern. Referee checking his watch. And there goes the final whistle. So a fine result for Falkirk. They had gone behind in the 20th minute to a great goal by Colin McLashan. But fighting back after 78 minutes, after Steinrod was fouled in the box by Ray. And there was Tommy McQueen to step up and make an excellent job of the spot kick. The final score here at Firhill. Patrick Thistle won, Falkirk won. John, is that the end of Thistle's challenge for the Premier League this season? Yes, I would say so, although we'll, we'll keep fighting really, Jerry, until it's mathematically impossible, but I would say it's very, very slim now. In fact, it's a million to one, really. And yet in the first half, a smashing goal by Colin McGlash, and it looked good for you at that point. Yes, because we're playing, we're playing good football, getting to the byline, getting it across and causing all sorts of trouble. And we had a great chance just to back it and we, we didn't even button it up then. But uh, in saying that, that's football and we've just got to take it as it comes. So what happened in the second half? You just went flat. I was very disappointed with the players in the second half because we stopped passing the ball. I think they thought they had the game won, uh, won nothing and just defended instead of going forward and looking for another goal because... Looking at the first half, we, could, we were penetrating them, you know, we were getting behind them and, and we stopped doing that, stopped creating the chances. You've played all of the other challengers, uh, you will battle on, but who do you fancy to go up now? Well, I, I really fa I'll stay by what I said early in the, early in the season, if we, if we weren't there, I would say that Falkers are certain now, I'd go as far as to say that, and I think Dundee might do it, although they've got a more difficult run in than Airdrie, but I think Dundee just might do it. And we're going to have a new pitch here, hopefully, for next season. Yes, and under soil heating, Jerry, I hope, and uh, I would say that's been the big problem here. Uh, we're an out-and-out -out football side, and the pitch it hasn't helped, but it's the same for both teams. You've just got to go out and carry on with it. Simon, three games left and two of them at home. You must be feeling reasonably confident. We're confident, but not complacent. Uh, you know, as you say, three games left. Uh, the, the sides we're going to play against are going to be fired up to try and get a point or two off us, and uh, we're going to be fighting all the way until the last ball's kicked. This was always going to be a difficult one for you today, though. It proved very difficult as well. You know, they, they really did battle uh, in the first 20 minutes. I was getting kicked all over the place, and uh, it was uh, very interesting indeed. You've played in a few places in your career. I think this is your eighth club. Is the first division proving as tough as anywhere you've been before? Well, it's tough at the top, I think, uh, because there's so much competition between ourselves, Dundee and Airdrie. You know, there's a lot of pressure. And we we're very determined to succeed, and so I think that filters through to the players. But uh, you know, it's the situation that makes it tough, really, not not the actual games. So 
morale in the dressing room. I watched you all training the other day. It seemed to be a very harmonious squad. Is that the kind of thing that's going to carry you through? Uh, we hope so. Uh, like I said, it's three games to go. We are a harmonious squad. Uh, we enjoy working with each other and uh, I think we'll continue till, till, till the last day.